What does it say about the land of the free? When one in 100 adults living here is living behind bars. It says several things. First of all, we have a lot of crime. It says we do a real good job of incarcerating people. It says we've overdone it. With 2.3 million adults in its penal system, slightly more than 1% of its adult population, the U.S. outpaces every nation in the world when it comes to locking people up, including far more populous China and far more oppressive Iran. What's more? Stats also indicate that Texas is leading that effort within the United States. And if you look at the stats for the state of Texas, it's easy to recognize that Harris County, city of Houston, by far, is leading the world in its incarceration of its own people. That's even with a slight drop in the state's inmate population, according to a new report by the Pew Center. More on that in a moment, but first we wanted to find out just who's behind bars in Texas and why. Well, after 15 years in the justice system, I can tell you that undoubtedly what's driving the train and our incarceration rates are our drug offenders. And a lot of that is our, our low-level drug offenders. Consider this. Of the 50,000-plus felony filings in Harris County Courts last year, 20,500 were drug possession cases. Of the 20,500 drug cases in the system, uh, about 12,500 or so cases were for possession of less than one gram of a penalty group one controlled substance, which is crack, heroin, methamphetamine. About half of all inmates find themselves back in jail or prison within three years of their release, which begs a couple of questions. What kind of return are we getting on our investment? And is getting tough on crime becoming too tough on taxpayers? It's not enough just to be tough anymore. You've got to be smart. Few would argue that violent criminals don't belong behind bars. But what about some of the low-level offenders who are clogging up the system? What about drug offenders? This is KPFT. At one end of the spectrum, you have people like Pacifica Houston radio host Dean Becker. Broadcasting from the gulag filling station of planet Earth, this is cultural baggage, the unvarnished truth about the drug war. A former military police officer in the Air Force, he favors legalizing drugs. To tax them, to regulate them, to actually control these supposedly controlled substances, to make it possible for adults through some sort of state regulation to obtain these drugs of their choice. We'd, we'd have plenty of room in prison then to hold anyone who would dare sell drugs to our children. Well, I'm not a believer in decriminalizing or depenalizing our hardest drugs. But like Judge Caprice Cosper, who falls somewhere in the middle of the spectrum, concedes. You can incarcerate people with addiction if you don't do anything to treat them. You can be guaranteed they'll be right back behind bars. Which is why she's a huge proponent of the county's star drug court. It gives low-level offenders a choice to take part in a success through addiction recovery program for 12 to 14 months or do the jail time. I did a year flat in uh, state jail in Texas. But if you add up all the years and all the time, I've done a total of about eight years. After completing the STAR program, former crack addict Catherine Griffin has never looked back. She now does community outreach for council member Peter Brown's office. The drug court saved my life. And cost half the price of prison or jail, saving the taxpayers money. Brad Woodard, 11 News.